My name is Jerry. I'm a senior engineer and trainer at ASL. I specialize in sewage systems. Maybe I shouldn't be so proud of that, but, but I am. In this video, as usual, I'm going to show you some old pictures to help explain. I'm going to talk about the cost and installation and maintenance of a cesspool. There is a huge difference in the running costs of cesspools compared with the old cesspit that does discharge. Especially now that opinions have changed. The days are gone when it was accepted to discharge from an old cesspit that is not designed to discharge or discharges into wet um, ground. But first of all, let's talk about the cesspool. Not confused with a pit which we used hundreds and hundreds of years ago when we had no maid's water. It, it might have been the Romans that thought of the um, the old dead dog or the, the old dead rabbit throwing it in the cesspit to break down the solids. Who knows? But today, with all the modern wash machines, dishwashers, solids are not our problem. It's water. 95% of stuff is water. Yeah, 5% solids and 95% water. So there's no more dead dogs, if you like. Uh, the modern 4,000 gallon, 18,000 litre cesspool, which is your legal right, bearing in mind it is containment only, no discharge. I consider this a last resort. There is, mustn't be any other system. Incidentally, we have a, a service. We send a man to inspect the situation, to inspect the uh, sewage uh, system you have, or the cesspit you have, or, or in some cases, you don't know what you have, so therefore you need someone like me, because I'm the guy they normally send, and you need to know what you've got, especially if you're gonna buy a property. If you're gonna buy a property, you need to know what you're buying into because there is legal obligations and there is damages that might have been caused and you need to know where you're at with that. You need to know the cost and what kind of system it is and uh, lost opportunities uh, that they missed. Uh, they might not have had someone to come along and help them or to guide them or to inform them. And that's my job. So bear in mind. But typical costs for a single three bedroom house for a 4,000 gallon cesspool, um, bearing in mind, this is not a system, it's a containment only. So depend on how careless or careful you are in the house with water, of course. My experience has shown that it's quite likely you will have to remove 2,000 gallon out of your tank every month. And that's been very careful. You can imagine if you have a large family and you have guests frequently, which you're allowed, uh, you will have to have 2,000 gallon out of your tank more than 12 times a year. Over a 10 year period, can you imagine what that's gonna be? It's gonna be 15 to 30,000 pound over a 10 year period. Nobody wants to live in a cesspool, a house with a cesspool, because of the quality of life, because of the restrictions, and because of the cost over a 10 year period. Well, you wouldn't put one of these in, but insulation for an 18,000 litre or a 4,000 gallon tank is in the region of 15,000 pounds. And then you, you might need, or when you try and put it in, you might need de dewatering or sheet piling, because quite often these uh, sites where we put these in are quite often uh, not very suitable for discharge, uh, unless you're gonna put in the treatment plant. Uh, and, and if you have got a cesspool, you can put the guts of a treatment plant inside the cesspool. We have to put walls in, we have to do, make all sorts of alterations, but it can be done. So there's hope yet. Give us a call. My name is Jerry. I hope this was helpful. Um, my number is 0800 181 684. Or why not email me? Send me some pictures. And then we can talk on the phone. This is Jerry, signing off for now. Bye bye.